welcome to Project Watch. This is LP. Now, today I'm going to be talking about my Keegan. You might have heard me talk about him in the Haggis video. What happens when an Apex 87 try reverting to a normal life? We're not going to hear about it. Before we go any further, Easter Sunday is around the corner. We have a special video for you. Right. People on Patreon ask me, Look at YouTube, boy, you, you must have something to drop on Easter Sunday. We have something. Right. We have a good one. You don't want to miss it. It's an old incident. Well, old incidents. Right. But the country did want some details as to what really happened. I never really get it. Well, we never get it this Easter Sunday. I don't want to see that I'm Now, I'm going to go back to Keegan. But before I talk about Keegan, remember Dooley? Dooley was the youth where yeah, Sus did end up kill. There were multiple attempts to kill him. Yeah. And you see, Dooley did a similar thing yeah, where Keegan end up doing. Dooley start work. As in, left badness, start work at a supermarket in price, right? Legit job, start make honest living, right? No friend co worker, they never ever do. I say, he was a clansman. When you hear right, in the clansman trial, witness mentioned, say, you know, a couple of times, well, then go feed to the point where the black dog start get frustrated. Send him favorite 87 suits for deal with it because him say the man is a joke. Dooley, however, was not as murderous as Keegan. Keegan was an Apex 87. I'm telling about them already. Right. It's jail or the grave. They make the man tell you the unicorn me. Right. If them in an iron man, right. it's jailhouse or the grave. Apex 87s, right? Don't get to revert back to normal life. Some 87s get to do that, right? But when they reach the kind of destructive level Keegan reach, it's not happening. Right? Speaking about Dooley, right? Just to give you an idea of how, right? They never rate him as no big killer because you see, that's the thing with gangs like Clansman. You know? have somebody who you know, have like one or two quote unquote doppy and the man in the body. Right. Had a man in the gang and mock them. I want you to picture this. Right. Because don't need to understand how culture work, you know. Right. And why. Right. One time them tell us, no man does, if you just put him on a program and give him a work, you know, go. In a gang like clans, somebody like JJ Nakis or Keegan. Or, you know, Nevada had his name in him. Right. We look on somebody like Dooley and laugh off him. Right. You have 87s in the clans where, you know, they go up on one and two shootings and man laugh off of them and say, right. They might joke 87. Right. You only kill two people. I want you to imagine a world where somebody gets mocked, right, for only killing two people. They have man that cleanse them go up on one shooting and man mock them. The man is a big killer. I just look at one shooting him though. Yeah. Crooks wants to get upset. Right, because remember as I said, they may go up on them only for different you know, attempts to get dually. Crooks wants to get upset because they may load up the car right, with the only gun on them right, to go kill dually. And he felt Dooley didn't deserve this. Meaning, too much guns, too much 87s, too much effort for Dooley. Crooks never even want to shoot him. Crooks, I say, for just chop him up and kill him. Right? Don't waste no gunshot. Right? That's how much right? Crooks right? look down on Dooley. Chop him up 
I'm kidding. But I'm just not going to shot. Keegan had a long list of victims that he killed himself and people were instigated with it. In the August video, you mentioned that Keegan and August left Portmore together. They basically forced them in their clans because they had no business being a part of clans. Being outsiders didn't stop them as they quickly proved they were ready and willing to do whatever it take. They earned the respect of fellow 87s and the done. You see, Keegan and Agis a long time ready. Right? They left Portmore together, joined clans together, and they would team up, go up on them operations, criminal operations, right? and kill people together. Right? Anyway, you see, Keegan, that's the Agis. People who knew them when they were younger were quite surprised to so them turn 87. Right. Well, they said they had no real reason, right. especially for being a speed and more than a fight young one. Right. Keegan would go on to get a reputation for being the smiling killer. Right. Always smiling, always armed. Right. Anyway, I see him, he might have been going for him. And he's not a licensed by a holder. You see, 87 is always a freedom tool to do what is necessary in a freedom line of work. 87 say, you know, man wanna do them things, so them need to stay strapped. In the Iron Man, everybody stays strapped, except the average, you know, working civilian. They must call the police. Right. This persona followed him. From you as a boy. Even when Keegan became an 87, he never changed as me say. The, the look of smiling, jovial attitude. He was from outer town, so right, it gave him an advantage. Right? He man against them. They could carry out certain attacks on various people without them suspecting. Right? That the smiling youth approaching them was a transman 87 because you know, people from Spanish town, right, you know, they know who about in the era. But as I say, you know, Keegan against them out at home. So enough people were able to get caught by surprise. Keegan would end up becoming one of the youths in clans with countless quote unquote duppies. But eventually, it took its toll. Remember, Keegan forced himself in a badness. He was originally right, a jovial youth in the place. Right? Seems his original self kept trying to re-emerge. After several near misses with the law and you know, his enemies, Keegan decided enough is enough. He had become a shell of his former self. Then it was 87 after a while when they reached Apex 87 status. Right, then start to take on a little look in them eyes and they lose them soul. I lose them humanity. He still had the smile, but he was no longer the same. You see, before the smile used to be very welcoming, had a certain touch of innocence to it. No longer. That smile was now associated with killing. Because even time I go kill people, he must smile. So now he's known as the smiling gunman. That smile was no affront for the torment he would end up suffering for his numerous crimes he committed. Right. Keegan, like Ajis and a few others, right, would start to mention that you know, this life is not how right, people make its own. You know, it's the sleepless nights that we kick in, you know, the anxiety. He walked away from the gang and Apex 87. Hanging up his gun, done with badness. He might get a work, my start a family. This is the fantasy. Many of your favorite quote unquote experts tell you say, I go happen 
I'm going to do this. So, see, what we need is the social intervention programs and into this. You know, that, that's going to stop gang wars and stop, you know, people like Keegan and people like Rajik and people like Nabada Haji. That's what's going to stop them. Let's put them on a program. Well, Keegan did it without no program. He did it on his own accord. Just like Dooley. Right. They say the aforementioned experts live in La La Land. They have no real idea of how the streets work. Yeah. Keegan right, would end up finding things out right, the hard way. Don't worry, I'll go hear about it. Keegan got himself right, a woman now, a child now, and a job. Yes. Apex 87 Keegan C 87 One of the most murderous youths them in the clans High ranking gang member Left badness Start work Legit job And have a young family A fairy tale ending Right? Wrong they say Keegan killed enough people, as I say. Instigate many others be dead. He was feared as an 87. But as a working youth, he was cannon fodder. Right. One day after work, while heading home to his young family, because by now, right, Keegan, you know, lover boy, right, can't wait to reach home. This a newborn baby, you know, young baby. He would be ambushed and mercilessly gone down. Something that Keegan knew all too well, except he's usually behind the gun. This time, he was in front of it. When it first happened, you know, there were videos and pics of his body and all the things because I say, people know about Keegan. So, when he may not meet film demise, right, people were very eager right, to see what was going with him. There were pics and videos of his body, as I said. They mashed him up real bad. Keegan stripped many people after their fathers, and his child would end up being stripped right, after them father. That's how things work in this ugly game known as badness. Right. A game that nobody really wins. Keegan knew wrong from right, you know. That's why he was so tormented. He said the 87 is a move. Right. You no know, wrong from right. Then one day, usually have a curry time. After beating the justice system many times, escape, right? police can't hold on him, can't get him to nothing. Right? He would end up facing the streets justice system. One that don't require right? no paperwork. One where you can't use technicality and get it from. You've all watched Hollywood movies and see these romantic stories of the 87. You know, who stop bad and go live normal life. You know, drive off into the sunset, slow song playing. You know, unicorn meat. When you better start telling the youths them the Iron Man that them devils in Hollywood sell more unicorns than me. Because I'm a straight work in a real life. But I'm obsessed with romantic stories. Oh, look at Keegan, look at Hodges. You know, he killed like 30 people and then decided that, you know what, he had enough and just get one job. Start a family. Happily ever after. Man, cut the crap. You don't kill 10, 20 people and then go get a job in a supermarket. Go get a job. Right? In a store. Go get a job. Right? In a big company. Start with a shirt and tie and live now. That's 20 people right, with 
at least a hundred relatives. Too much, too much friends. All it take is one right, to seek revenge. And got you say, you retire from badness, and now they're coming to retire you. Keegan just like Dooley, they left a young family. Keegan just like Dooley, thought they could just start over. Everything happened before. Squeak out now. I've changed. When I start working about this. Especially when you're atheism, especially when you're a trigger man. The way O'Keegan did, it was a textbook program. Something he didn't know about all too well. And even all them catch up on him. Some of the man them are quote unquote friends of Keegan. Right, would have played a role. That me say, this is something where Keegan himself will take part in many times over. When keep lying to the youths them in the man. When they make badness sound so cool, so exciting. When they tell them, say, don't worry man, we cannot, you know, when you're ready, right, we just put up on a social intervention program and give you like you know, two chicken and see go rot down your son like that. You must be stupid. That boy is going to get killed. Right? And his co-workers they might let him get killed though. Because if you think his enemies are going to hear right? Man I work in a supermarket. Right? And those you know, have new life. And then say, so, oh well, you know, him start over. That's good. You know, let bygones be bygones. Put the diet coke down. Hajis ain't joining your social intervention program. Neither is Roderick and all them people. Even if they wanted to. Because them know. So the man them add up them gun. We the same work way. Where you say him I do know? Where you say him start? He might have what? He might have pit me? Yeah. Wish for Where me? Wish for you say him take? What? He buy a car now and wish for the car wash. Oh! So he wash the car and then go... Alright. Enemies him I take down notes. Because the 10, 20 people he been killed. Well, and especially because now for them are gang members too. And them are friends too. They're coming. Right. The best way is to not be a part of the gang. Is to not come 87. But if you think say I got on 87, right. and then just leave some romantic story at like the ending and just you know, wander off, right. slow song up there. Not interested in Iron Man. Some people do it, but most of them people do eh, right. They take themselves from Iron Man. And even them will tell you, say, as long as them are fine, right? If they ever touch back to Iron Man, anxiety will kill them. You have man who used to bad in the 80s, 90s, were still afraid to touch Iron Man. They left Iron Man a long time. They were bad from the 80s and 90s and they're afraid to go Iron Man now. Because they know, say, all it takes is just one person to still be alive. I want to settle the score. Madness is madness, but don't take my word for it. I'm just a little YouTuber. Anyway, Vulture Squad, be open yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. More life. Vulture Squad, stay circling. Bless.